By the way, if you're not aware of it, you're watching Dev Tips, and I'm David, and we do building an online business from scratch. And in this episode, we are installing, uh, we're creating a React app from scratch, and then we will try and uh, use that as a foundation to start building out this that we did in the last episode. And if you don't know what React is, you should totally watch. Uh, me, mine, and MPJ's series on uh, building a React prototype. Oh, we're done. Okay, everything is up and running. npm. Oh. We install this into online business and then npm start. Okay, let's just. We don't need the logo. We can use the app CSS. Uh, we don't need the logo, we don't need this. Uh, let's just have that. Let's just skip this for now because we don't have that tutorial thing. So let's just hide that one. And then here we'll have the list of agencies and each agency should be a component uh, but let's just first put the agencies there so we'll make a list This could be the definition things, what's it called? HTML DTDD, which one is which? Term name, DDDL, definition list. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's just check this out. DLDTDD, okay. DL. Is the list, and we have DT our day. So how did we do it here? So first, I'm just... So let's just do it like this. We have the agencies there and we'll just have the agencies component.
want to build something around. So agencies, let's make a component that has more about uh, information. Just let's extract something here. The brand and we'll probably have some some navigation here. And we could wrap this in a header. And just move this into agencies. And wrap this in a div. We could just create this into a hero component. And now just to clean things up, I would like to remove these components and put them, well, let's just put them somewhere else, like uh, a new file. Let's just put them in a components components file. Uh, import React com React. Just add them here. Uh, let's. Export them like that. And then here, let's just uh, import the different components. Uh, hero agencies and information from. Components like that. Does that work? Yeah. Okay, so now we have the basic React app. And uh, one thing I realized right now, right now I realized it, is that React app is very good for prototyping and doing prototyping really fast. Uh, uh, but it's not really good for SEO. So if we just curl it, uh, we will just get nothing here. We have an HTML 
header and a body that has a no script that says you need JavaScript and then a root and then just the bundled script. So I think we will actually not use create react app. This is the format where we just hack away and this is the actual process of building something. You build something, I used create react app and then I will just have to use something else. Like I will probably do something like this, upgrading a create react app project to a server side rendered project with some code splitting up. Uh, and I could use this series or I could use next.js. Uh, we'll figure that out in the next episode. Because I think we'll, have it, we'll need to have it server side rendered because the whole thing, the whole affiliate model thing is basically made, our purpose is to build a site that Google will love. And Google will have trouble uh, rendering this. So uh, we will like change this and just build the foundation before we start to actually design anything. So the next episode is that we will take this and rebuild it into a server-side rendered app before we start uh, actually fiddling around and uh, building things with the CSS grid and whatnot. Don't forget to comment and like or dislike and uh, subscribing and all that stuff. In the next episode, we will be SEOing the thing with SSR, server-side rendering. I'm David and this is Dev Tips. See you in the next episode. Ciao.